Welcome to this quick tutorial, beginner's tutorial on how to do plus EV betting and how to actually assess every bet so you can kind of calculate all the different ways that you can see what EV is and then decide what is sharp for you and what your real ROI is based on your calculation. So we're going to take it a little bit further and we're going to learn how to find EV bets inside all of the different tools inside the RGM software. So let's go ahead. And I always like to start with results because I am hating nobody if I'm not sh putting my own money where my mouth is and I'm not actually risking my own money and I'm not getting results. So whatever I say here is based on these numbers. So th that is what it is. So for the last seven months, I've been going in and out, trying to figure out what is the best EV strategy for me, what meets my betting style, the amount of time I invest into this. And all of these results that you're seeing here are with no more than 30 minutes to an hour a day because I do this super, super, super part time. So you could have more results if you put in more hours or you could have something similar depending on your bet sizing if you're doing approximately what I am doing. So 13K profit in the last six, seven months, 2.2% ROI, but what's most important is my number of bets. I have had hit 7,081 bets. So my results are based on a lot of data. We're gonna go into where I actually like to look for bets myself. There are many other ways to find EV, not only from the plus EV tool, you can also look for bets in the low holds tool and in the arbitrage bets tool. So we're gonna see and we're gonna learn how to assess the market with our own understanding so that we can determine what the no big line is, which is what the true probability is. Removing a sharp book's vig or commission from the their odds that they set so you can see what the true probability is in comparison to the odds that we're getting in the book that we are gonna bet on. So let's go ahead and find EV bets on the arbitrage bets page. So I actually like this bet over here, this first half total points uh, from in the Bet Rivers books. So you can use, hit this bet on Bet Rivers, Bet Parks, Unibet, and we're gonna be using for this main line right here as alternate line, Pinnacle as our sharp. So we have minus 137 for the over 69 and a half and plus 111 for the under 69 and a half. And we're gonna figure out what the EV is based on Pinnacle as our point of reference. So minus 137 and plus 111. So minus 137, minus 137, and plus 111. So let's go ahead and put plus 111. So for the over, we have a 54.95% chance, right? So let's go ahead and put that in here. 54.95% chance based on $100, and we are getting odds of minus 108. So let's go ahead and put one is 108 here. And our expected value for this bet utilizing Pinnacle as our sharp is $5.83 on $100. So that's 5.83% ROI on this bet alone. If we determine that, okay, we actually wanna use Pinnacle as our point of reference, then that's gonna be the EV that we get. But what if we actually wanna use I don't know, the market average, right, which is a really good strong point to use because it's taking into consideration more data, minus 124 and minus 103. So let's devig that line, minus 124 and minus 103. Minus 124 and minus 103. Now we got 52.18% prop chance of it to happen. So now let's input that number here, 52.18%, and we have 0.5% of expected value. So that is actually less of an edge. If you wanna make sure that you're positive on the average odds and positive on Pinnacle, then this is actually a good bet to place because you're using different points of reference and this is EV. So you could kind of say, okay, I'm gonna use this as my point, as my truth, or I'm gonna use Pinnacle as my truth. So you decide there. What matters is that you learn how to calculate your own expected value. So let's assess another bet based on the arbitrage bets page. Let's see if anything new comes up. Let's actually say that this Northwestern State game over here that just popped up. So let's do the exact same thing. Average odds, minus 136 and plus 111. Let's devict the market, minus 136 and plus 111. So we have 54.87% at the top, right, for the Northwestern State, uh, based off of the market average, right? So let's put in that probability right there, and that's gonna be uh, minus 136 plus 111. That's going to be 54.87% chance of probability, right? 54.87% chance of it to happen. And we are getting odds of minus 110. So let's put minus 110. There's a 4.75% edge on this bet right here if we just decide to go hit it in Caesars. So we actually found EV bets on the R page, and that's how you assess your own bets. Now let's say, you know what, I want to use Pinnacle as my sharp and not the average odds. So you could do the exact same thing, minus 138 plus 111. 
minus 138 plus 111 so now we have actually a higher chance 55.02 percent right so 55.02 same thing you're getting odds of minus 110 and you could go ahead and hit that bet and you're going to be making five percent roi on that bet over and over if it was possible to make this bet in a thousand parallel universes you will be making five percent every time you hit this bet in theory theoretically right just based off of data alone based off of the odds alone right and that is how you can find ev bets in the arbitrage page all right that's it